here is a question of quadratic equation so we need to find roots of this particular quadratic equation so it's not just with the numbers but it's with variables so let's try to find out how the roots by using factorization versus quadratic formula the reason behind this is um, there are certain situations where when you choose a particular method it has to be faster than the other one so that's where it comes with practice but you will have to figure it out just by practicing so let me do this in both ways so you will know exactly what needs to be known so that you can actually use that particular method so let's just do our basic factorization method although there are no numbers we'll just uh, go with that so ax square as far as I know if I take that particular uh, coefficient here for the x and then my c this is in the format of ax square plus bx plus c I need to have a product of a and c in this scenario it is a is a and c is multiplied by minus 12 a b which is minus 12 a square b so I need to have two numbers or two values where if I multiply I need to get minus 12 a square b and if I add or subtract this is where the splitting midterm comes into picture when I add or subtract I need to get that particular thing so most of these questions what happens is when you look at uh, the midterm itself you can see 4a square and minus 3b they look like actually that those are the right values so if that is the case it should be 4a square and 3b if I keep this minus and if I keep this plus what will happen if I add or subtract with the whatever number if I add with the same sign it will be plus 4a square minus 3b and x both of them will have x so plus 4a square x minus 3bx and if I take x comma I'll get the midterm but let's find out if the product is actually going to work out plus into minus minus 4 into 3 12 a square b also works what if this was not given what are the other uh, options you have you have other options is 1 and 12 1 and 12 and uh, 2 and 6 6 are 12 2 6 6 12 so these are the other options you have but to ask the question whether this is going to give me the midterm if I take plus and plus and a square b how do I find out a square b I already have a square b here so if I, I just have to separate that a square and b because I have to find the product and in between in the midterm actually I have a square and b as well so if I keep that in mind if I put a square b here or otherwise vice versa this would have been plus 1 a square plus 12 or I can change the sign depending on whatever is required but these are the other options that you have but you will have to compare that with what midterm we have there so it's very easy looking at the question and whatever is there in the midterm 4a square minus 3b works very well because the product is actually going to give us minus 12a square b and if I just add both of them plus a square minus 3b will be in the bracket so it's a straightforward thing most of the questions will be like this if not you will have to find out the particular numbers and separate the variables separate the variables with whatever we have here and the numbers you need to find out exactly how you factorize when you use at just normal splitting midterm with the numbers so if that is the case what's going to happen ax square I have to split that midterm in terms of 4 a square x minus 3 bx x I need to put because if x I, if I take x as common I'll get 4 a square minus 3 bx but here I have to split that into midterm that's why we call uh, the midterm splitting minus 12 a b equals to 0 so what happened is I have four terms now I can group them by grouping I can take a common x common a x common 1 x is left here plus 4 is left 1 a I have already taken 1 a will be there x is already taken so nothing is left minus 3 and I can take b common 
minus 3b I have taken x will be left I need to put plus because I have minus outside you can always whenever you introduce brackets always verify this step so whether you get that previous step or not 3 4 the 12 B is taken a will be left equals to 0 you can verify this this will be same minus into plus minus 3 BX and plus into minus minus 4 3 is a 12 12 a B everything actually satisfies so whatever we have applied brackets is actually holds good so from these two again the common term is x plus 4a once I take x plus 4a here ax is left minus 3b is left equals to 0 so that means I can equate both of them to 0 and then find the value of x x plus 4a equals to 0 x equals to minus 4a ax minus 3b equals to 0 ax equals to if I transpose that will be 3b x will be equals to 3b if I transpose a will become divisor that will be a. so what I got is these are the two roots for the given quadratic equation by using factorization method then the second one let's go with that you will see the effort that you need to put on the things that you need to uh, have in mind only by practice not by memorizing quadratic formula it says the root will be equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 a c divided by 2 a that's what it is according to this I have a equals to a itself that's what I have the coefficient of the highest term which is x square uh, b is actually just with plus 4a square minus 3b because it's already positive there it's coefficient of x c is with the sign minus 12a what we'll do is we'll just fi first find out uh, b square minus 4ac and then put it under square root so b b square minus 4ac is actually going to be 4a square minus 3b whole square that's entire b square minus 4 a is a c is minus 12 ab then what will happen this is a minus b whole square a square which is 4 a square square 4 square is 16 a square square is 8 to the power 4 plus b square 3 b whole square 3 3 is a 9 and b square then 4 12 is a, first let's go with the sign minus into minus is plus oh sorry before that I need to put one more term right so a minus b whole square minus 2 a b minus minus 2 4 a square multiplied by 3 b then here minus into minus plus 12 4 is a 48 a into a b is a square b so this is going to be 16 a to the power 4 plus 9 b square 2 4 is a 8 8 3 is a 24 that will be minus 24 a square b if I multiply variables plus 48 a square b as far as I can see these two are like terms one is plus one is uh, minus so I have to subtract because they are like terms 48 minus 24 is actually going to give me plus 24 because the largest number is 48 48 a square b these two terms will stay as is 9 b square so now if you look at this again this comes with practice if you look at it here we took a minus b whole square that's why we had midterm minus 2 a b but same minus 24 has turned into plus 24 so as far as I can see straight away I can write this as a plus b whole square here a will be exactly what we had 4 a square instead of minus 3 b it will be plus 3 b because my midterm from minus 24 a square b turned into plus 24 a square b that will be 4 a square plus 3 b whole square this is what I got from b square minus 4 ac so let's just scroll this down a little bit so now if I take minus b minus b is 
4 a square minus 3 b that was my b value for the quadratic formula I have to put minus b b value was only 4 a square minus 3 b plus or minus square root of 4 a square plus 3 b whole square this is from here divided by 2 into a a was a itself so that will stay as 2a itself so now I have to divide this into two parts I'm going to write this on the left hand side and right hand side so if I take this if I expand this this square and this they get cancelled anyways so I will separate this in two parts two uh, roots minus if I open the bracket it will be minus 4a square minus minus plus 3b then here for the first one I'm going to take plus so sign will not change that will be plus 4a square plus 3b divided by 2a as far as I can see plus and minus they get cancelled this again I'm going to get plus 3b plus 3b is 6b divided by 2a 2 1s are 2 3s are that's going to be 3b divided by a that's one root what we had here exactly and the second one minus 4a square I'll still open that plus 3b I'm multiplying here these ones instead of plus now I'm going to take minus if I take minus whatever is in the bracket here is going to change the sign so minus 4a square minus 3b both of them are plus so minus into plus minus into plus divided by 2a in this case 3b plus 3b minus 3b gets cancelled so this will actually give me minus 8a square like terms I'm going to add them divided by 2a 2 1s are 2 4s are then 1a 1a gets cancelled I'll be left with minus 4a if you look at this minus 4a 4a if you look at that and look at this both of them are so we got solutions roots for the given quadratic equation by using both the methods now you will have to decide if you if you look at it if you are uh, most of the time uh, many students what happens is they think that quadratic formula is always faster no it is not but depending on the situation you just have to choose and depending on your practice and experience so that's what actually it matters main thing is keep in mind that if you want to go with any of uh, the methods all methods are good in certain situations so if you look at it if you are actually um, uh, practiced enough with factorization factorization was much much easier compared to quadratic formula quadratic formula you need to remember that how to use identities properly if not you might get stuck somewhere at this point again if I come back to factorization the splitting midterm you need to find out exact values for the two split midterms so that most of the time it will be there if not exact to do the same thing but make sure that you separate variables here then you should be able to find out the midterms those are the challenges those are things that you need to keep in mind so now that you have looked at both of them I feel in this scenario factorization is faster much much faster than quadratic formula both of them have their own advantages so you just have to choose which actually is easiest for that particular situation and everything boils down to and the speed and saving time so make your decision I've shown both of them you will know exactly how to solve this and I hope uh, you understood uh, both of them don't forget uh, to subscribe to my channel and then hit that like button I will see you uh, next time